Well, about 14% of all new cancers are lung cancer, and last year alone, there were about 234,000 new cases. Dr. Patrick Allure is a radiologist with Radnat Imaging, and he joins us now. Good morning, doctor. Thank you so much. Good morning. Um, so why does lung cancer continue to remain a hot topic in medicine today? Well, lung cancer is the most common cause of cancer-related death, and it's mm -hmm. oftentimes preventable. Really? Okay. So what puts people at more risk for lung cancer? The number one risk factor for the development of lung cancer is smoking. Okay. So. But there are a lot of people that get lung cancer that never smoked. That's true. Um, there are other risk mm -hmm. factors, environmental, pollution, mm -hmm. um, occupational uh, risk factors like asbestos exposure mm. or a family history, but still the number one risk factor is smoking even today. Okay. Yeah. And then um, what are some of the signs or symptoms of lung cancer? Well, unfortunately, the signs and symptoms are a little bit vague. Um, oh. Shortness of breath. Uh, chronic cough, mm -hmm. weight loss, fatigue, and those symptoms we could also use to describe the flu, right? Yeah, so it yeah. doesn't seem um, very telling necessarily the symptoms or point toward lung cancer uh, very clearly. Mm -hmm. Also, um, by the time a patient with lung cancer has symptoms, it's usually pretty progressed oh. along. Okay, yeah. so if the symptoms are kind of, uh, kind of vague, um, what's the best way to catch it? Well, the best way to catch it is, well, the American Cancer Society recommends low-dose CT lung screening for the early detection of lung cancer in mm -hmm. high-risk individuals. Okay, and what is that? So, basically, it's a, low do uh, it's a CT scan of the chest utilizing mm -hmm. the smallest amount of x-rays possible to create hundreds of images through your lungs, mm -hmm. um, specifically looking for small lung nodules. Mm -hmm. And can anyone get this test? Well, the test is recommended only for people who have a high are at high risk, so mm -hmm. in other words, long-term smokers. So you could be a current smoker or a mm -hmm. former smoker, and you have to be between the ages of 55 and 80, and at the time, asymptomatic. Okay, what about for folks who live with a smoker with all that secondhand smoke? Well, right now it's not recommended for those people, okay. but you know, if you feel that you have been exposed to a lot of smoke through your life, maybe you worked in a bar when there was smoking, mm -hmm. or you live with a heavy smoker, mm -hmm. you could talk to your doctor, and although it might not be covered by your insurance, because mm -hmm. it's not recommended technically, you mm -hmm. could still opt to have it if, you, if you'd like, probably. Okay, and are you looking then for nodules, those lung nodules? Is that what you're looking for? Right, so we're specifically looking for lung nodules, which can be thought of as like a small bump in the lungs, and that could be benign mm -hmm. from like maybe an infection or it could be malignant like cancer. Mm -hmm. But what if, what if you actually find that nodule, what, do you, what, it, what happens? So if you find a lung nodule, you need additional tests. Not, not everyone will have a lung nodule, mm -hmm. but when it's found, um, other imaging tests can be done to kind of tease out whether it's a benign nodule or a malignant nodule. And sometimes you may require a biopsy or you know, a small sample of the tissue of the nodule. Mm -hmm. and uh, it would be looked at under a microscope and determined to be cancer or not. Okay, and so folks yeah. who have those symptoms should really take the time to make a call to their doctor right now. Or have a long-term history of smoking. Okay, yeah. all right. Thank you so much, doctor. You're, you're we welcome. certainly appreciate your time. And if you would like to see this interview again, you can just go to our website, kcal9.com, and click Seen on TV.